Hey everyone, welcome to Next Commentary, playing Vladimir mid lane um, against, looks like Rumble mid. Pretty annoying matchup to be honest. I think Rumble's pretty okay versus Vladimir because if I ever try to step up on him, he can slow me and his consistent damage is really strong. And also he has like one of the strongest shields in the game, to be honest. Like his shield is absolutely massive. Um, but... Besides that, it looks like they have Sven. I don't think I have anyone. And Rek'Sai is a pretty annoying champion for Vladimir. Also, just because he can gank pretty easily. If I ever do get ganked, hopefully I can get off like an auto attack. Um, maybe then use my E while I'm using pool. And if my pool touches them, that's three hits, get a uh, phase rush, and I can run away very quickly. Because, I mean, I don't have a dash to get away from Rek'Sai, so if he gets under me, I just have to time my pool really well and hope that he's not waiting on the other side if I uh, do it too soon. But uh, I'll probably be mainly looking to probably just farm. I don't think that I can kill this guy easily. It's going to be very difficult. For now, maybe I'll just stack up my Q and hope that uh, that can give me something that I can threaten him off a CS with. Okay, I got perfect CS so far, so it's going well in that regard. I'm just trying to make him miss a little bit of the CS here. I'm going to put down a ward on top side. I might miss one CS. No, I missed two there, actually. Unfortunate. Okay, we see Rek'Sai's bot side here. I'll miss the cannon, but that trade was not the worst, so I don't really mind it. He does not have a nullifying orb. He does have Nimbus Cloak, so I can remember that if I ever do get him low enough that I can all in him. Wow, that didn't hit him. I'm not going to be able to even hit him here. We can't even fight this. She needed a flash. There's no way that I could have even helped her there. Well, they're able to get buffs on Callista? No. Well, they just trade one kill. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep this like semi frozen here and maybe we can uh kill the rumble because I think he used flash there, so if Rumble comes back and then Sedge ganks from topside, she has flash and maybe we can kill, depending on if he stays. I mean he might not, so I'm up CS, but he has two kills now. And he has buffs, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be expired soon. Because it's going to take him a while to run back. We might not even have enough damage to kill him, to be honest. Because early game Vladimir, my cooldowns are so high, it doesn't really deal any damage. So, that could be a problem. Does she know that? Oh, well, I wasn't able to kill him, unfortunately. I still have pool available. She might be able to get him? Okay, never mind. Oh, fuck. I should've just went for the... Rumble. Rather than going for the... Ch or Jax, I mean, I think. 
If I even would have had enough damage to kill him, to be honest. I'm not sure if I would have. There's no way I could really stop him from shoving. So I'm just going to let him shove me in and maybe I can just like CS under tower. He'll be fine. Nice, I was able to get most of those. I'll probably just reset here. He might try to stop me, but... Hmm. Or Rek'Sai might gank, too. Oh, never mind. He's going topside. I might be okay. I don't think this guy can actually poke me under enough, uh, enough under tower that he can kill me, so... Even with Ignite. They might get dove. Yeah, they are. I mean, they do have Thresh Lantern, though. So maybe they can get away? Hmm. Darn. He's not gonna be able to... Oh, wow. Nice. Super fucking good uh, Q by Sejuani there to stop him. I'm just gonna face check this guy. There's no way that he can kill me. Oh fuck! And I put my Q on cooldown too. Wow. Okay, cool. Finally get a base. I have so much money. I think I'll scale harder than uh. Rumble. Like, Rumble scaling is crazy, but I think Vladimir scaling is even better just because he's a safer champion. I think that's how the matchup will go. For, like, we're both team fighters. Split pushing. Depends. I guess it depends on how good he, his Morello, like, shits on me. Mm. I'm thinking about a 1v1 fight. Uh, he might be able to win just because of Ignite. Maybe he doesn't even need Morellos. I just have to use my pool extremely well, basically. There is a big possibility that Rumble just won't bot here. coming, but I don't know if I can stop it. That kind of sucks. I think Sejuani took the lantern from <laughs> the Callista. That's why they're so upset. I was able to get Rumble super low and he accidentally took a tower shot, so I get two free kills. Very nice. <laughs> Even the Lux Burn Flash to try to finish me off, too. Make it so clubs don't fucking message. 
Because that noise, if it would be irritating. I'll go Ionian. All I need now is Zanya's, and then I don't need any more CDR items. Man, dude, Rumble's literally down there again. He just pushes mid and immediately goes bot every single fucking time. Oh, okay, they're fine, they're fine, actually. Never mind. This Rumble is just non-stop roaming. I mean, which is good. I mean, Rumble's an extremely fast champion with his W, to be honest, if you just sit on the overheat over and over again. Oh? They're trying to dive? Okay, they're not. Maybe we can take Dragon off of that, because we're going to have Tempo up now, because the Rek'Sai side was pretty low. They're really low bot. I might be able to loop on them, to be honest. These guys are so far up. No, I won't go for it. It's not worth it. I had a rumble right behind me. I probably would have maybe been able to kill her and then I would die. It would be a one for one at best. Wait, what? We shouldn't let rumble walk this way if Rek'Sai is up there. We didn't even get to do the dragon either. Kinda sucks. Dang. I didn't realize that Kalissa is also down 50 CS, but... Okay, we can maybe collapse on this guy. Okay. Oh, fucking slow, man. I have so much CDR now. I'm at 45%, so. I can just heal up really quickly. There's no way that Rumble should be able to kill me at this point, because I'm really far ahead of him. Oh, I didn't get the second Q portion off. It's fine. I can just continue healing up. Get the big chunk heal. Oh wow, that didn't kill him. His shield is so big. I could have maybe used pool sooner, and I didn't want to burn flash for him. I still have pool available. Rek'Sai is down there. I don't think they should go for that play. What the fuck is this? I guess they're on Dragon. I don't think we can stop that. That's already gone. I could just continue farming until I have an item, to be honest. I think that nothing really is going to happen for a bit. I'm pretty sure I could defend pretty easily, too.
I don't know what, what you wanted to do. I'll get the CDR, a stopwatch, sell this, I don't really need it. Wait, it sold both my pink wards. And I clicked one time. What? Okay, I have stopwatch. I have 45% CDR without blue buff. They're rifting myth. Rift. Rifting mid. Uh. Rumble roam bot. Good thing you didn't get anything. That guy's dead for sure. Guy's getting dove. Can't even do anything to help him. There's no blast cone there because of the fucking bug. This is probably boarded, so they see me here. Mm, I won't be able to do it. It's fine, I still have W up, and this guy's just walking straight in. This guy will die. One more hit, and now he's gonna get crowd control to death. I definitely could have maybe been a part of more of these fights, but I'm pretty happy with how the game's going so far. I was able to get better CS because of all of his roaming, too. You gonna Q and ult me? No. That guy went like GA first, holy shit. He has like no damage. It's kind of weird that he would go that so early. Okay. We just need to play the game way slower. And just play around, I don't know, me getting a priority window where I can roam. I think I'll go Morello's next just for the... <sighs> Grievous Wounds is just always a nice thing to have, especially I can proc it on everyone multiple times because Vlad has so much AoE, plus Protobolt procs it too, so... Chogath should never die to that guy yet, because Jax is nowhere near... Hard enough scaling, but he should really back off because probably Rumble's going down there. Hmm. Rek'Sai's down there. Rumble's down there. Who would have thought? That guy was so deep. This guy doesn't have anything yet. My god is Ignite. It's a longer cooldown than my thing, too. I can heal back up faster too. He might have to reset to be honest. We'll see. The Rek'Sai might come for me to be honest. Oh, no, he's just going top. Can we do Dragon? I don't know what we're doing. This Cho'Gath is just so aggressive.
Okay, well, this guy's dead for sure. Nice. I don't know, why did the Rek'Sai even tunnel into a full HP Cho'Gath? Oh, wow. I was trying to Zhonya's, but I couldn't. Did that Ignite not kill her, too? She's 1 HP, we can just do this, no? I think we can just tank with me, maybe? No. Damn, Sivir actually lived with 1 HP there. Hmm, I tried. I'm gonna just leave now. Me and Saber both have to reset, so neither of us will be at the dragon fight, but I'm way stronger, which kind of sucks. If a fight does even break out a dragon, too. I'm not even sure. All I have to do for team fights as Vladimir is just land a, like, three-man ulti and just run in. I don't even need to use Anyas unless necessary with Bull, but, like, you just go in super fucking ham on everybody and just go in the squishies with your Q and your E, and then... Like, just be a disruptor for your team. Even if you die, you'll probably win the team fight. Having a flank position like this is also super good. They should, like, do this, though. There's no way this guy can kill me. And because the rumble was caught out so, like, alone, there's no reason to solo ulti him because I know that he'll die. So I just save my ulti for a better part of the team fight where I can hit two or more people and try to just scare them off. Oh. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong key. I thought it was on the three key. I should have just done Baron. Why is Sejuani also not with them? I mean, that was my fault. I'm like pretending that I'm 1v9. I just throw the game. Feels bad. But we're still in a completely fine spot just because of me being Vladimir. I still feel like their, their team comp is a lot harder to win with. Oh, this guy's gonna die too. I don't think they can do Baron off of it though, because I'll be up and I can disrupt all of them. I need to remember that my Zhonya's is on the two key. I keep on swapping up between two and three like every single game, and it's really creating issues for me. And I'm still not gonna be able to like figure out how to fix it. I don't know what the optimal key is for me. All I'm gonna do is just sit inside of like a spot where I can get a good flank off for team fights. I'll go push out top. My team can probably just do everything on their own for now. We don't have Cho'Gath TP yet, so if they do engage, we're not gonna have timing just yet. I do have Morello's in base, too. Okay, I can just buy Morello's now. Now I just gotta get a multi-man ulti and... Rumble doesn't even have Zhonya's yet, does he? Yeah, he doesn't, so... I mean, that guy is... Not very strong yet. He really needs a stopwatch and he can go super ham. A lot of them don't have stopwatches, actually. Which is, like, super important for them. It really helps versus Vladimir. So hopefully we can use that window to get a good team fight and like end off that one team fight. Like this is an important team fight because if we lose this one, then Rumble's gonna suddenly have Zhonya's and then it, everything becomes a little bit harder. No? We're not fighting? I felt like he was so caught out there. Probably gonna die. 
Never mind, I'm alive. Wow, the fucking rapid fire. I need to go harder for Sivir. I could have like burned literally everything on her and maybe it would have been better. She's actually pretty strong. She killed me with rapid fire, that's why the auto attack was so far. That's like the only important target on their team to be honest, just Sivir. Rumble, you can't really stop them. I'll probably go Death Cap next just because they don't have much MR. Mm. Vladimir, Vladimir has pretty good AP ratios too. It's either that or Void Staff, but like they don't have anything else. You can go like some other items too, I suppose. Like Spellbinder, some people like that. It's actually not bad either. It's also less expensive than Rabidon's Death Cap too. And movement speed is always nice on Vlad too. Next power spikes for me are definitely having like a, a huge increase in AP, which will be the death cap, so that's really far away, plus level 16. Like, both of those things are gonna create huge opportunities for me, so... I'm really far away from having my power spikes, but I'm still at a super strong spot. That. All that needs to happen is just... Oh. Ow, fuck. We need to catch out Sivir somehow, honestly. That's like the best way. They're just playing the mid wave extremely well. Okay, well she's caught out, so now we're gonna win. I'm trying to hold on to my Q here. When you use your E when you have your second Q, it um makes it so it slows down the rate that the Q decays. So because you slow down that rate, you can then maybe get off a second Q if you use your uh, E to make it slower. I'm probably going to try to burst it, so I can't really show it here. Otherwise, I would. There's no way that they can steal it. All we need to do is just finish. Oh wait, she doesn't even have... She didn't, she didn't even have a smite there, so I guess it's fine that we turn. Also, that Jax was way tankier than I thought. Like, I felt like I was dealing no damage to him there. I think getting this uh, Water Dragon will help out a lot. Ocean Dragon doesn't get, like... Stopped. Uh, like, Baron... Baron damage doesn't stop it from regening you, so it makes it so even if you're low HP, like, as a tank, you can normally, uh... Just stay on it. And I kind of wanted to shove this out real fast, but it's fine. I'm really close to level 16 too, which will really help. Plus, the Sivir is playing like super aggressive, Sven. Like, super aggressive. Which means that he gets caught out. Eh, this is fine. Just play it slow, I guess? I'm fine with that. Let them walk into us. Oh, wow, that hook. Nice. Okay, cool. Still just need to go for Sivir. She actually spell shielded my ulti there. I'm surprised that she was able to predict that. She has QSS now, so she's a little tankier versus me. I actually th think I need Death Cat before I can like just solo kill her now, if I'm running straight at her. If I surprise her off guard, then I can still surprise her and probably kill her that way. Like, if she runs into me into a brush or something, and I get the first hit off, then I could definitely one-shot her. They might send a bunch after me. But running into me is 
a lot harder than me running into them. The whole entire reason why like she can even kill me is me running at her, but if I'm running away, I don't think that there's a way that she can even catch up. They might send multiple people against me, possibly. But I think I should be okay. This guy doesn't even- oh, he has Spear of Sojin actually. As soon as he jumps in, just immediately all in. If a Jax ever jumps on you, there's no reason not to, basically. He used his only escape to go on to you, so. Oh, wow. Okay, good job. We win now. There's like literally no way that they can win because Saber's dead. Their wave player is also gone, so we might be able to just end off this push. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary, uh, I mean, it's basically playing a late game champion. It's pretty simple, especially if you get really far ahead because it makes team fighting way easier, but hopefully you learned something new today, and I will see you guys next time.